Hey everyone, I'm here to do my review of issue 211, as you can see. I just got it in the mail today. Uh, this morning, actually, got it in the mail. And what's funny is you. What's funny about this is last, you know, last month when I got 210, I got the day after a guy on YouTube named Funny Stuffy uh, put uh, his put the issue on on YouTube. But here it is. Issue 211, and sorry if I move it, but let's take a look at it, shall we? Um, anyway, we start off with the last five issues, with the first, with the preview pages, with the, I guess you could say the, yeah, the five preview pages left us off at. Uh, basically, we have Nicole revealing to the Iron Queen, finally, the fact that this whole time before uh, Sonic, Sally, and Khan and Tails left, that she had been freed by Sally, and that during this time she had strengthened her defenses to make sure that the Iron Queen doesn't take control of her anymore. And you know, and the Iron Queen, you know, of course, is not very happy about this because you know, she, no one, she's never been tricked before, so. You know, so the Iron Queen, excuse me for a second, I'm trying to put stuff up here so you can see the whole thing. So, but the Iron Queen, like I said, is not really happy about this, about being tricked or anything. So she basically is telling Nicole, hey, if you don't do as I can, if you won't do as I say, and use the nanites to destroy the freedom fighters, then I'll do it myself. So she's basically using the nanites to still do her bidding a little bit. I mean, I don't know if you can see that a little bit, but she uses them to turn into, to get a big spider going. And Nicole's basically fighting her, saying the nanites are part of her city, are part of her, and they will not be used anymore, or misused by the Iron Queen. Then over here, we get the battle between Amy and Jun Khan, and this, where, and this is basically where the final preview page leads, uh, le left us off at. You know, Sonic comes in, and it includes, ironically, clichély says, ask Amy if he missed her. And then, of course, Amy says, yes, of course I missed her. And, again, this is what I think really bugs people, the fact that, you know, she is proving herself to be a valuable freedom fighter, but yet she's still in the middle of a battle does this, <laughs> you know, and on top of a villain. I mean, come on. Now, of course, we get into the pages here. Basic, we get into the rest of the story. Here we have Sally confronting Snively and basically telling Snively that she that she has given him chance after chance after chance and every time she's given him chance after chance he squandered it. She squandered it, well basically squandered her generosity. Now Snively of course thinks they still have the upper hand. Snively still thinks they have the upper hand with the uh the, the ninja clans ants and everything. But Sally basically is able to tell him, hey, look, basically tell him, not anymore, you don't. And this is where Khan comes in and tells all the clans there, hey, you are free now. You are no longer under the Iron Queen's control or the Iron Dominion's control. So now you can go back to your life, own life. Now, Lena Da is kind of laughing about this a little bit, thinking, geez, you know, they've been gone this long and this is what they come back with us. You know, how absurd, how stupid can you get? But then when she sees uh, this bat, this leader of the Bat Clan, I guess you could say, telling the Yag Yagyu to return home, she's in shock. She's like, well, what are you doing? Oh, and one monkey gives you his word and that's it? And basically this Bat has to explain to her, look, you know, where we come from, word, the uh, word of honor is sacred. It is never to be broken. And Leader Da is like, well, I can't, you know, the Legion can't fight off the, can't hold the city by ourselves. Basically, she's telling this guy, t telling this bat leader or this clan leader, we, you know, the Dark League Legion can't beat, you know, can't keep the city on their own. But the bat leader is like, well, how unfortunate for you, goodbye. Now, she's a little, now, Leader Da is a little pissed off. Like, you know, she's not, doesn't want it to end like this. But then... But then she starts coming to the realization, well, wait a minute. The Iron Queen is busy with her fight with Nicole. And that the, the Iron Queen is being, the Iron King, 
she, well, basically, she notices that both the queen, the iron queen, and king are being uh, kept busy right now. Basically, being overwhelmed by the being kept busy right now with the fights, and she figures, hey, you know, this is the moment I've been waiting for. And she basically tells the dog, shouts out loud, tell, she shouts out loud to Doggy, to the Legion, to fall back to the Empire, to fall back, fall back to her, because now the Eggman Empire belongs to her. Well, basically, she's telling them, fall back, the Eggman Empire now belongs to her. And of course, unfortunately, the Queen, the Iron Queen hears this, she's like, what? And slams her staff down, and this kind of affects Nicole a little bit. And she's telling the Dark Egg Legion, you know, win back the city for her. And Lena Dodd goes on to basically say, what, are you trying to control me with the neutral trivia installed on all of us? And she tells her, hey, mine's been, mo basically she tells her, I've modified mine, I to resist you. But to the point that, the, I, that she, Lena Dodd, can control the Egg Legion. So in other words, she's ba basically telling her, ha, you just got played again. And the Iron Queen, you know, it's like, I think this is basically like the final straw for her because she says, because after, you know, Lena Dawes says, hey, you've been played again, the Iron Queen's like, you know, okay, fine, but you forget one thing. I still control the bomb in your cybernetics to detonate, and thus that's what happens. She detonates the bombs left in Lena Dawes' cybernetics, and well, I guess injures her to the point that it looks like she's been killed. But we don't know. We don't know if she's been killed or not. And the Legion is kind of confused, like, okay, what do we do? We need someone left, we need someone to command us. And Snively's like, just freaking out and everything. And then this guy here, I don't know, this Legionnaire says, gather up the Grand Master and get her back to the Egg Dome. So I guess... I can assume Lena Da is still alive, but maybe she's damaged facially. Now we see, now we see the battle between, now we see the Iron King fighting everybody off, off by telling them that no one can. Basically, the Iron King is fighting everybody off, saying that no one can beat him, no one can break him. And Sonic's over here. Sonic and Khan both agree that that's a problem. Problem, and that the only way to defeat him it was a, is with the mystical fan of Finn X. And then what do you know? SBO shows up, gives him, gives Monkey Kong the fan, and and Khan tells everybody to fall back. You know, the Iron C King is kind of surprised that the fan is here, that he thought he had hidden it away in his armory. And Monkey Kong, you know, Monkey Kong basically uses it to blow him right out of the right out of the city. I mean, literally right out of the city, right above Snively as he's flying a right in a egg saucer, and just nervous. And Snively, this is what cracked me up a little bit. Is so nervous and so freaked out that he's basically putting in the codes to finally let you guessed it. He's finally letting Eggman out. And Eggman's like, it's about time, Snively. And Snively is just babbling, saying everything's ruined, the, the clans are gone, Legionnaires are retreating, Leader Dog will boom, Iron King whoosh, and, and then Robotnik's asking, or Eggman's asking, well, what about your precious Regina? And he's like, no time, no time, please help me, save me, do something. <laughs> yeah, and Snively... And then Eggman patting him on the head going, now that's the Snively I know. And then, of course, we see them escaping through, an egg, through the egg saucer that Snively brought because, you know, this is the opportunity they've been waiting. This is an opportunity they need. They're escaping, and Snively is basically freaked out, if you will. You know, and Eggman is saying he's already got something planned for Sonic. Now, the Iron Queen is left all by herself, and basically Sally and everybody is telling, if, telling the Iron Queen, if you surrender now, no harm will come to you. But, of course, the Iron Queen doesn't want to surrender, and she uses the city's nanites, if you will, to, believe it or not, turn herself. She's actually using 
her magic, if you will, to use the nanites of the city to turn herself into this, a mecha dragon. So basically, she's turned herself into a robotic dragon, dragon and everything. And, and Nicole and Sally's wondering if Nicole can, you know, do something. And Nicole's saying she's using all her resources to keep her from using any more of the city. But anyway, what happens is that Sonic basically says, okay, then we'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Gets Tails into the picture with the tornado. And they, start, and they basically all start attacking the dragon. Each and every one of them starts attacking the dragon. Dragon and everything. And Sonic finally puts in the final blow. And I will be back with part two of this review.